Good morning, my friend. We are here with a new game and we're gonna do a let's play. And it's called Citadelum. Now you may not believe this, but I recorded this several times because the in-game music is obnoxiously loud. So that kind of completely blubbered my voice. But it's fine, because we're gonna do the next one then. Well, you just missed this one, but it's actually fun because this is also a normal mission. Holding a wolf by its ears, we need 5 plebeian houses to level 4, sell 500 fish through trade routes, send 25,000 denarii to Rome and discover 4 relics. Let's go. Let, let's go. So this game is pretty good. So if you were into Caesar 3, um, Zeus, Master of Olympus, Pharaoh, all these games from your, you may know this game very well as it is pretty much a copy of this only done much better like literally much better it's actually really much better so you start with placing your forum but you really want to know where to place it so you're gonna need iron Let's, can i help? iron or stone and you of course need water so that's basically the three resource you need you can build on desert but that will not help you much as it will uh, generate less uh, happiness of course i see a pretty decent spot here it's pretty close together i probably can work with that Let's build it here. I, I do like building on the desert, however, because it's so nice and f flat, you know? It's so, it's, you see the buildings much better and this is all forest black. Okay, we'll place it here. There we go. So we have our forum and instantly the build menu opens and we're currently in prestige level one. That means we only have a few buildings and that's actually perfect because that will guide you easily to building, well, uh, whatever you need first so as you can see we have plebeian houses we have an engineer's post and fire station you probably know that from these games they're always there you're gonna need them uh, we have a market already and we have a well a water mill aqueduct and reservoir so of course we're gonna need water especially for the fire station but let's first start working on a little bit of housing and maybe best to start with some well let's make some roads first like this one goes to the industrial part and one goes to the to the housing part actually the residential part and i want to keep some space for my citizens uh, so i can build for example gardens around them etc so i want to i like to place them uh, pretty much like this there we go did i just place this one too far oh my lord so those there's one thing you have to note uh i don't want to talk about this Let's rotate the map, because I'm slacking already. Here is me showing my prowess to you guys and I'm completely failing in the process. So I like to build some uh, decorations around it, so it's gonna need some space. This is better. <laughs> and of course, they are gonna need a marker to get food. Now this marker needs to cover them all. And I think I'm pretty good when I do it like here. I also often place like the market smack in the middle and then place nine around it. That also works. Uh, eight, of course. Uh, but not this time. This time we're going to do it a little bit different. Yes, let's do it like this. And of course you're going to need a road as well. And that road goes to here, of course. And the market is able to actually get past this house. Probably should do one road, else I have not much decoration for this house. But the, the good thing is, it's the middle house. The middle house always gets more decoration. Because when you place like a park here and you place a park here, it gives one to this, one to this, and two to this. So it's not too bad. So we've done that. Then we're gonna need water, but let's first do a fire station so I know the coverage. The fire station needs to cover as much as possible, because I don't like to really build a lot of them. Because they cost a lot of workers. Let's do it like here and I'll show you later why because I want to keep them a little bit away from the house because they don't like buildings like that at all. They're like, what are these buildings doing here? Uh, I don't like this. Okay. Like that. Okay, so that's built. That of course needs water. So let's start pumping water from the water thingy. This game is actually pretty good. I'll show you later. You'll be surprised. The, the, eye, the eye of detail is insane. Here's your water. I think, yes. Okay, so water is done. So we pretty much just this, uh, did this entire menu. That's perfect. And then we go to the agriculture and we have only two things. We have a wheat field and we have a granary. Well, wheat is by accident the only thing they need right now. So that's perfect. 
And we probably can build a little farming area. Or shall we build the farming area here? It's maybe pretty. It's a bit far away, but. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll build two free wheat farms. I don't really need two wheat farms, but it does help get some early overdose of plebeians out of my way. And let's see if I did fail. No, I did it perfectly. Because I also wanted them to be in range of these guys. So these cover everything. That's perfect. I love it. Next one is materials. And we have, of course, the lodging camp. Which needs a log logging camp. Not the lodging, of course. Uh, which needs as much trees as possible. So um, it's maybe weird. But I could place him actually in the area. Yeah, yeah, let's do it here. There's a lot of trees there. They actually physically cut the trees down, so and the tree grows over time. So if you don't have enough, I'm going to slowly put it off pause, by the way, so people can start coming in. Uh, then we have the stone. Here's the problem. The stone is the only thing I cannot possibly place within range of these buildings. They need to be in range of stone. That makes sense. <gasps> what is this? I am completely wrong. I can do this. This is interesting. And I will do this, by the way. But that's going to jeopardize the housing I want to make here. Okay, let's place as much as possible to the north. Are you still within range? Perfect. Love it. Man, my, my guessing game is on point. Man. Let's do it a little bit like this. Then we have one massive road there. And then this road actually just goes all the way here. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Never change a thing. Now, as you can see, we already have one people coming in. It's not much. It's not much. We're going to need 20 for the next purchase level. That's two. You'll see them coming into buildings. And let's talk a little bit about the detail I was talking about earlier. You can actually look inside the houses. The houses itself are a bit boring, of course. But later, when you have workers, for example, in the in the fields, in the in the granary, in the lumber mill, you're really going to see them work. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's almost making me cry. Uh, we had the granary. We, of course, going to need a warehouse. Now, I'm going to need two warehouses because one needs to cover the stone and the other one needs to cover both the iron and, of course, the wood. Can I get a bow ahead, please? please, please. Okay. I'm going to get early iron. I don't need early iron, but I'm going to get as much as possible because the sooner you start with it, the more... Did I just screw up? No, not. Of course I didn't. Everything is in within range of these two. That's perfect. Now, distribution. So you want all these people to work there somewhere. We only have four people so far, so it's not much. You go to the management window, the big big button with the scroll, and you go to jobs. Now, by default, the game puts only one guy in each building. And you have to manually, and maybe that's a bit annoying, but eventually it's, it's, it's logic, actually. You have to manually put people there as you please. So there's two in the wheat field because we have two wheat fields. There's one in the granary, which is fine. It just needs to cover two wheat fields. It's not that much. Now, we're going to need some early stone and wood. So, we're going to put some more in there. Uh, we have two warehouses, of course. Um, the fire station and the engineer post need to cover a lot of area. And the market also, also has, like, six houses already. So, that's also a lot. So, let's put it like this for now. And I'm going to put it a little bit... No, no. Before I do that, I'm going to show you the region map. And why I do this so early is because um, the scout. You have an explorer. And you need to explore with that. That makes sense. And you see all these tiles. He can walk freely to all explore tiles. Like this. But if he will explore territory where you haven't been. You'll see this green uh, lens thingy. And he starts exploring. You see a little progress bar. So while he's doing that. You know you want to do that as, as soon as possible. So you don't have to wait for that of course. Um, because it, it has a, a timer. Perfect. So we have our little setup here. We're ready to get to prestige level 2. Is there something else? No, there's not. Because all the rest is all locked behind prestige. So decoration is going to be our first step. Um, after which uh, the gardens and the trees unlock on prestige level 2. So we have to wait for it. Now look at the buildings. The buildings currently house five people, so uh, I can have a total of 30 with these six buildings. And they do have their water, which is good. They are just literally waiting for wheat. The moment wheat comes in, they will start growing much faster. So we have some workers already, but if you're like, oh my god, I first want workers on the wheat, then just give it a little bit higher priority. You can see the little priority under the hiring target. 
and you also want to make sure that the market has a little bit more priority that people that are new just go there so we can get the food going as soon as possible now you see this guy is already walking with food so probably this yeah, this one has his reach now fulfilled so probably will start generating more billions soon and you can also see in the market you see all the items they actually don't fetch it from the granary they bring it directly they have it already which is a maybe an upgrade maybe a little bit more or less more or less re uh, realistic what is this okay the explorer instantly died that's very rare by the way and that also comes with a massive risk we have found already one enemy and that means we have a risk of a raid and that is because prestige level and enemy armies on the map increase the risk of a raid which is not ideal because we can't make armies until prestige level four that is really bad i am really saddened by this i'm gonna put it a bit faster because uh, the first part of the game is actually the slowest that you just have to wait a little bit for the plebeians to drop in i'm on 14 now so it's going really well and we'll just speed full speed until we're prestige level two now something of note you want to make sure that you don't spend all your denarii before your level uh, for prestige and it's really important because for example it's really easy to get the desirability up for houses to 100 percent by just placing a tons of parks etc but it will just burn your money right away prestige level 2 comes with patrician houses they are ideal for making money and the tax office of course to tax them we have baths and taverns which are primary buildings to upgrade the plebeian houses and we have some upgraded farms we have some upgraded uh, wood and stone and we have of course a winery and some decoration the park wasn't shown on this overview but oh, the garden actually but it's there as well first things first we will build some gardens and i'm just simply going to do this i actually only need to reach the desirability level 10 so i don't really have to try and yeah this, uh, i'm not really happy about this but let's go so as you can see the uh, sorry as you can see the middle houses already have much more increased desirability than the rest and this one does suffer a little bit by uh, by the fact that there's a market there but well actually suffers 30 13 percent well we'll update it later when there's better uh, yeah decorations it will go much faster the 100 percent will not be a problem at all even with the market there however if you would have placed really other buildings nearby that's more detrimental for their desirability then you may have a problem sooner or later so let's just start with the patrician housing patricians are the rich guys they want to be spoiled out of their minds and we're gonna spoil them out of the minds because they're gonna give them our monies so let's make a little uh, patrician encampment i don't think i want to make it too big for now oh i did it again well we'll we'll do it we'll do it i, I can work with it don't worry if you have OCD, just just look away. Yeah, did, let's do four because they're gonna need their own market as well. And we can't make stone roads yet, which is a sad, but we'll live with it. Now, of course, these guys will need decorations as well, so let's get them some parks. And if you only have two by two then it's very easy to get the desirability up and they're already at the first level but they are saying we need melon and we need cabbage cabbage is pretty easy to make and cabbage is more important than melon actually if you wonder why i will show you in a minute because cabbage will also be eaten by the plebeians later and melon not so melon will only be for the patricians which means by default if you go to jobs do I have... Yeah, I have one plebeium unemployed. That's interesting. Uh, I was thought I thought it would be more. So normally you would like... If you go like two melon, you would go three cabbage. Because you're going to need more cabbage in the future. I'm going to put one more in the granary as well. Now, maybe I can go back. Yes, you see now I, I'm missing three plebeians at the moment. It's not going to be a problem because as soon as these upgrade and they're already upgraded, you see they look a bit better. They're now asking for baths and desirability, as well as onions and carrots. So the great thing is they tell you exactly what they need. So let's get to the cat carrot farm and let's do an onion farm. I think he's arranged from this granary, so that's fine. And they can have 
for now just two people. How much did I put in here? Let's do it like that. It's gonna be a little bit more people, but it will be fine because they'll come. They'll come very easily because now I'm gonna build a box. That was one of the other requirements and also the patricians need them so I think this is a perfect place for bots as I cover both. There you go. And also they were talking about a tavern. Well a tavern of course gonna need grapes first to make the wine and grapes are really important because later you will need wine as well to please the gods etc. So you really want to focus on that. I'm going to max out these guys, by the way. Because I don't want any fires to break out and stuff like that. So we have this and we have this. That will all take a while. And then, of course, lastly... Oh, I'm going to need a tavern. Tavern... I, I, I'm going to miss these guys if I do this like this. I could do it like this. This is fine. There's the tavern. So that's great, that's done as well. That's all the buildings for this area as again, again. We have all the farms as well. We now have a sawmill and a stone cutter. We'll build those as well. And this is a sawmill, so I'm gonna place them near the planks. And this is a stone cutter, which I'll place near the stone. I don't need that much yet, uh, not before prestige level four. I'm gonna need stone blocks so i'm gonna take it easy on those well this is pretty much what i can do for this prestige level so i done all this it's horrible it's literally horrible that my scout died right away and the reason is because in this world map you can also find towns and you can trade with towns as you can see sell 500 fish through trade routes if i can't trade i'm in trouble you know the only way i can make income now is through the patricians so that's a bit of a problem, but I'll I'll make do, I'll make do. Well, the patricians also cost a lot of investment before I can, you know, get money out of them. Oh, that, I forgot something. I have to text them. Don't forget to text them. Did I place these outside the range? Yes, I thought I did. Okay, we're gonna make a little change. Do I want to destroy them? Is that worth the money? Yes. It is worth the money. Because I want these bad boys within range, if you don't mind. Of my... It's not in range at all. Okay, so we have a problem. I, I really screwed up there. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to build a new engineer's post and stop on this area because I have no choice. Well, I do have a choice in a sense that I can just build a tax office etc. in the middle, but you know, I want to have more buildings available to like more important buildings to cover both the positions and the housing. So that's going to be more important to me. This also comes with the problem that I don't have water. I'm already prestige level 3, I didn't even saw it coming that fast. Um, I can just build a well for this one because he's the only one that needs water. I'm not going to be bothered. It's a bit sad that if you're a fire station and you have to use a well to get water to make fires go away, but I don't want to have another aqueduct because it's really an investment, you know. And I don't have the money to do so. So prestige level 3 comes with a few things. Let's see. Let's first go to this market. Um, these guys don't need grain, so I can just disable that right away. And um, we have a doctor's office. Maybe a bit too early, they're not asking for it. Um, we need to make a lot of fishing docks, however, because... Oh, did I just make another mistake? I did make another mistake. Guys, I'm making mistake after mistake. The thing is, um, there's no problem with this with building this here but i should have built it like up here so i can also use it to cover the fishing dock okay i'm gonna just forget about everything i did so far you know it's 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 been rough for me okay um let's go i want to make a fishing area here so i'm gonna connect these roads here 
and I'm going to this is a bad example for me. build these guys here it's like this There we go. This is what I wanted all along. I've, I've never done anything else. So I want to start generating as much fish as possible. That's not a fishery. And I'm, so I'm going to build three fishers. Oh, I don't have enough uh, stone. It will come. Obviously, we just go to the stone cutter. Like, how many people are working here? Well, now there's four. I have seven unemployed. I have to be careful. If I have too many un unemployed, they're going to be unhappy. So you don't want that at all. So I'm going to quickly assign more people as soon as possible. Start filling up the iron mine. Um, I think the warehouse can now use a few more people. And the granary as well. Fishing dogs. Let's go. Grapes. Where's my winery? Here. I think we're good now. I think we're better. That will also give me like eight uh, extra jobs, which is exactly the amount I need to get to prestige level four. So I know when I'm prestige level four, I'll have enough. Okay. My first order of business is to make uh, new explorers. But if I make new explorers, I can find more enemy troops. Next prestige level, the enemy rate risk will increase as well. So I'm gonna need guards as well. And not only I, I'm going to need guards, I'm going to need maybe even a legion to clear out the area. I'm running on full speed. That's fine. So they are asking for desirability. I have 12k left. I'm in the plus, thanks to my positions, which is really important. I'm going to try to get them all to 25. By placing another large garden nearby each residence. Except you, I don't know what to do with you yet. What you can do like this. How is there a fire there? there we go. Okay, it's fine. Prestige level four. Now, this comes, this is actually the biggest change. If you sit in you can now build everything you need. And believe me, we need. I'm going to drop some more houses here. They should be in the correct list. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm also going to drop some extra stone roads because I like that how they view and probably faster on it I, li I literally don't know what the difference is between stone and it doesn't really uh, increase the desirability per se so it's kind of weird to me maybe they just forgot about it it does cost money however and i shouldn't be buying spending money on anything so let's let's focus first so we're going to need uh, recruits that's all all you need for every soldier god Explorer, you're going to need recruits. Now we can make this area actually here where we're gonna build all the military. Let's focus. Now then we can start making explorers, but explorers will probably need. Well, we can build it and then we'll see. Explorers will need only food, that's good. So we can make two explorers, that's cheap. I thought they needed a horse or something, but that's fine. Then I also want to make workshops for all types of, well, armors, shields, you know, drill, bows, and of course, the swords, who are somehow different in shape. Very saddened by this. There we go. We do have 11 jobs so this is very good we have seven recruits ready for training now i will also look at uh i will also show you people's favor that's the other bar and the main thing is unemployed citizens will start generating crime as long as you don't have guards you don't have any, any way to crush down the crime so there's a lot of things you're going to need to consider before um ensuring that the crime is actually 
dissipated. So I'm going to also make a guard training building. So they're part of this uh, area. And then I will also start making... Ah, I want cavalry, but... I'll just place them just to have them. You know, I need, I need them. So I will have them. And I'm, I'm going to make sure we have eight guards ready. What I see now right away is they're going to need meat. Which I don't have yet. So we're going to need pork. Pork is incredibly important. I'll show you in a hot minute. Let's place that pork farm here. And we'll also place a butchery right there. Beautiful. It works all perfectly. That means I have only seven, eight thousand denarii left. What I need to do now is start making the gods happy. They are unhappy. And they're going to be more unhappy if I don't give them a temple soon. So Minerva... I'm actually going to pause the game. Minerva is the god of production. So you want to put her uh, near the production. But every god also needs housing. So they're going to need people that worship them. So they need to be placed near houses as well. So we're going to place Minerva here. Then we're going to make Mars, which is the god of war, of course, near our recruits. He's going to be incredibly vital. He's going to be your best friend if you want to make armies really fast. Uh, let's build him here. Then we have the Jupiter, which is the god of happiness. He actually uh, uh, increases the people's favor, which is also very important. So we're going to place him here. And we're going to have Pluto, which is the god of the underworld. Well, he's like the opposite of Jupiter. It basically means don't piss him off. That's the only key you need to know about Pluto. Then we have Ceres, which is, of course, the god of uh, the goddess of uh, land. Can I make sure? Yes. Well, she and Pluto must share an area. It's fine. And the last, but not least... Oh, wait. That was Apollo. Sorry. Uh, Sir, Apollo is the god of uh, transport. So he's going to be at the markets. And this is Cirrus. I'm so sorry. And Cirrus is the goddess of land. I'm going to build her temple here. So we quickly drop down the temples. It's a, it's a bit simplistically made in this game. Like, you know, you just have to drop the temples. Bum, done. Uh, else they're going to get angry. Now, once you build the temples, and we're going to first do it like this, I think. Yeah, let's do Mars first. You can make festivals. I actually, I, th I think Minerva is better because I, I need iron, I need stuff. Okay, we'll do Minerva, but I don't have the materials required. She needs grapes, and he needs carrots. Okay, I have carrots. Let's do a set festival. Now, you will see Mars will now be less neutral. You can also sacrifice people and pigs. Like, pigs I don't have yet, but soon I will. And people, well, you know, that's wrong. So, if I would sacrifice four people no! you see Mars is even more happy about me I don't really like sacrificing my people because I need them but let's sacrifice a few petitions no! um, okay I can't get to be happy no! there we go this is uh, very bad for my money by the way anyway Mars is now happy and since he's pleased I can call upon him and he will come down to your city and he will glass some of your buildings. In this case, it's just going to be the archer and the infantry. Because that's the only thing I have. And he's just going to instantly place recruits there that are trained right away. And that means we have our first soldiers. Which I don't really need right now. And let's go to the world map. And there you see your soldiers. What we have here is we're going to have two, uh, two explorers. And we have 11 people ready. Five infantry and six archers. What I need is uh, more explorers right away. But I need to find cities. It comes with a massive risk that I find more enemies. But this is this is the risk I'm I'm very willing to take. I need to find the city right away. That's just the only thing I can do right now. Because I need to start trading. I need to get my money up because my money is almost empty, and I don't like empty money. Okay, these are exploring. That's the wrong button. Now, they are saying you need meat for the guards. The guards um, are for the defensive part, so the last button on the build menu. And first you have the guard post. 
so let's place a few guard posts down that will reduce the crime i i did train eight guards but you can also have them on watchtowers as far as i know um i don't think i need watchtowers yeah it's a bit um i, I can't tell you now yet but um if you have enough army to clear out yeah, all the enemies, you will never get attacked. So defense is not that important, you, if you understand what I mean. So, but yeah, it's a choice. Okay, four guards. That also brings me to the next part. We need to make sure people are growing. So the next thing that the plebeians are asking is bread and 40% desirability. Now, desirability is not going to be that hard because we have much better things now. We can just place this one, which is extremely expensive, isn't it? Oh no, 60 only. That's. That's not much. And that brings them exactly to 40. I will remove this one for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, one of the explorers found a relic, which is a great way to instantly boost the gods, so I can call upon Marsh again. I don't like the fact that I'm calling Marsh too much right now, because um, I don't have all the salty buildings yet, but for now it just helps me get a lot of people. I have to pause real fast, because residents are leaving due to unemployment. Okay, they're gonna need a festival soon. They're gonna need a festival now. So I'm gonna do a festival on Pluto. Let's do it. Big festival. Cost me money, but they need a festival. I'll give you a festival. Then I'll quickly check the jobs. Guard post is gonna be full because I'm gonna have eight uh, guards. I need more armor, shields, bows. I think two is enough for now. Stone is going pretty hard. Let's do three. I have the people for it, so I still have people. I'm gonna max out these. Okay, now I have four jobs available. I can see that because it's 74 of uh, 78, so I know that it's gonna be four jobs uh, in surplus. Okay. That means we have some more troops. We have scouts ready, of course. Scouts still haven't found the city yet, because they hate me for some reason. That's fine, that's fine. Well, I did discover one of the four relics, so we need to be more scouting. Um, we also have the fish, of course. I want to use the fish later as well. But for now, we're going to make sure the bread is there, because that's what they asked for. We already have two wheat farms, which is great. So we don't need those. So just uh, one bakery, fill it up entirely. This should be fine. Then we're gonna check our patricians. They need bread, which we we're doing. They need 25 desirability and they need a fish fillet. Well, we make enough fish already, but we're gonna need a fish mongrel, of course, to uh, monger the fish. And we're gonna max these out as well. And we're gonna, yeah, for now two. For now two, I think it's enough. I, I, I could use some more patricians, but I build it in such a detrimental way that's gonna be really hard for me. Probably should have given more space. I can go this way, of course. But. Um, I only have 4k left, which is saddening me with great sadness. I'll give them a gatehouse as well. Or a front gate, I don't know. And that will give them some initial the liberty. We also have the fountains. They are very expensive, but they are incredibly powerful. Look at this massive increase in desirability. I want to get those to 40 as well, so I'm going to invest some more of my precious money. Oh, these don't have water. Could be a little bit over. How much did I have now? Because I didn't see the last one. 46? Oh, this is fine. This is fine for now. Don't spend more money. This is way too much money. All your money goes to decorations and it's just always killing your game. If you don't have all your core buildings set up, like the... the, uh, the um, I really have to make a lot of arch, by the way. I'm gonna make... 30 arches. And I'm also gonna need a lot of infantry. 
Next prestige, prestige level you have cavalry, which is the most overpowered piece of um, soldier out there, and you can totally cheese fights with it. Don't tell the developers, but I'll show you in a minute. A little sip of coffee. Okay. Uh. Temple of Pleieto. Um, who is not happy with me? Minerva is getting Minervous. Oh. So let's give her some of my well-earned goats. She do does love it. Okay. Then we have Apollo. Oh. He's not happy at all. I can't really do a festival. So I just have to sacrifice a few things. Oh. You see, pigs are becoming increasingly more important. So just... I, I suppose to... I already should have put people in there much more. This is really not helping me. Uh, Sirius is not happy. I think I can get Pluto to... Oh my... Jupiter is not happy. That's, that's risky. What? People are leaving the lack of unemployment. That's impossible. We have enough jobs for you. Okay. Um, these should grow soon. Because they are maxed out on everything. So I don't know why there's no people in there. We have the bread, we have the things. I'm going to shuffle the... How much wheat do we have? 700. Yeah, but we start making bread now. Um, we have enough grapes. I see it up here, but it's not really visible. I probably should look through here. Like food. Probably could do it with less grapes. I want to export fish later, so I want to keep those up. Yeah, there's not much I can do right now in terms of reducing workforce i probably can reduce my stone etc a little bit i do get enough planks as well don't get a much stone cutter so i'll keep that up and i'll remove these as well for now just to get my people to get to the pig farm right away because i'm i'm going to need some sacrifices to the gods right now i'll do one serious festival just to get her on the good side and then i'll wait for a few of my other things oh my god look at this we have it we have a trade route beautiful so can i sell 250 a day i think i can i i will i will i will make it happen i don't care how uh the thing is you can easily see this so fish food the city is under attack i do have some guards will they make it Those guards are gods. Those guards are fucking champions. Well, this city is not under attack anymore. Well, you see, the guards are already enough to take care of this one. And we didn't lose anything. Very well done. There's been a murder, so crime is getting up. Hmm, shouldn't be. Uh, not enough housing. Yeah, that's weird to me. Um, let's see. You have everything you should grow. Why aren't you growing? Probably needs more bread. I'm producing bread at full speed. I don't have enough bread. Okay. I, th I think we have no choice. I'm sorry. But we need a second bacon. With two, pe two people in there. Okay, we'll wait for that. I'll, I'll trust. Because we've been on this procedure for a long time. Um, I'll trust it goes up soon enough. This one has no water. Okay, I'm starting to get sick of building wells here. But I don't think I can just randomly afford. Yeah. Stupid things. Oh. Here's your water. Instantly full. Okay, bread, fish filet. I know, you, you get this. You get the gist. We have two jobs offered. I think we're good. I think we're good. They may not be too happy right now, but they will be. I just don't understand why they're not leveling up. Right now. That's that's the only thing I don't understand. I think I was working on scouts now. Oh, we have another city. This one buys art. Does he buy armor? That's easy. Um, I just have to start overproducing armor. How's my iron? Can I see that? Yes, 327. I will sell some of my armor, but not much. 40. Can I do that? And what is your production? Armor, armor, armor. My production is 16 a day. That's not enough. 
I cannot sell 30 a day, that's ridiculous. Uh, we'll do it later. We'll make some more armor. And we'll be fine. Oh, uh, did I send boat scouts? Uh, this one is going... This one is going, yes, I did. Very well. So, the total soldiers are training. The, the, the good thing about training soldiers is it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. So, once you have the buildings, which is the only investment, and you have the iron, and you have the armor workshop, etc., they'll just start training. And as you can see, swordmen need uh, grain, armor, sword, and shield, and archers that need armor and, and some bows. So, you need them all four. That's, that's the thing. But... Which god is pissed off? Jupiter. So Jupiter is my first focus. Where is Jupiter? What the hell is he? Okay. I'm going to give him a lot of pigs to slaughter. All of them. And at least that sets him back to neutral. I probably can do a festival as well, but I'm not in a hurry. A festival is most easy, then it's just full right away. There's a problem with some trade routes, don't care, I know what it is, we don't have enough resources, blah blah blah. I'm first going to need my city and my buildings to upgrade. I kind of feel like it's blocked by prestige level, but it doesn't say it. Because it definitely has everything. Oh. Where's that market? Is this market not pulling the weight of all these houses? Well, I could do four. <laughs> I could definitely put four people in there, that's, that's for sure. Um, I'm just going to give them some desirability. It's not going to be hard, it's just going to be a park. It's going to be a walk in the park, actually. <laughs> and we probably can get it to 40 right away. Yeah, 50 now. It's fine. That will grow. And it needs water. It has water. It needs grain. Probably shouldn't pause the game all the time. Now we do see some icons very shortly. Uh, one of them is when the granary is full, it's not full. And one of them is when the warehouse is full, then you often see a lot of things. I can't do things, but it's actually basically because the granary needs to fetch it from the farm. So if the granary workers are full, as you see the granary has only four workers, if they are full, it won't be able to hold them and a uh, remedy of course is just placing all the granary I still need more bread I need to move people I need that bread else they won't grow and else I don't get people two bakeries full ridiculous Jobs offered four. Is a bakery four? Is the question. Two out of four. I'm just checking the market. This is always zero bread. That's not good. This one just grew. Had its food delivered. I think it just needs to be entirely full on bread. Oh, this one is full on bread. It's 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 grown. And this one now needs eggs and milk. I do have money. I do have money. I can do this. Milk and eggs is actually pretty easy because you just only need the production building. And to be honest, I should have just already built it though. So, uh, you just need the production building and then just deliver the raw product, which is perfect. <laughs> Put two in there. As soon as we get more plebeians. I'm almost there, by the way. I just need one more plebeian. And then we're uh, prestige level up. Rate risk is getting up. So I think we found another army. And we're here. That means I can make cavalry, which is the only thing in life I want. Um, yes, we did found another enemy. That's absolutely detrimental to my happiness. I learned a new word, shut up. <coughs> Military cavalry. I want a bazillion cavalry, thank you. The bottleneck right now well, how how who is responsible for not putting this building on fire the fire oh, didn't i give you all the people you need okay now we just need to please mars like fifty thousand times You 
you come on down? You can just wait for it, but this is more fun. So the only thing he doesn't bless is the Centurions, which are pretty important to build. Um, I haven't done it yet. They're not hard to make, but they're just an army of one. Um, yeah, let's put it here. I'll build three Centurions, sure. And I'm probably also going to make another recruitment office because I don't like the rate my recruits are coming out. Now I'm really low on money, so I really have to be careful. Are you done? Yeah, great. So if we go now to the world map, you see we already have a decent army. It's just too small. It's really too small. We'll want to take out these guys as soon as possible. I have a bit over their amount. Can we see? They're archers. Oh my god. Yeah, I need the cavalry. You're going to just laugh your pants off when you see this. What are you missing? You're missing meat. Well, the pig farm is working on full capacity. Oh, this is actually good news. Um, what I see is that we can definitely put more people at work. Um, can I have space somewhere? Choices. I'm gonna make another pig farm, put two people in there. Butcher is gonna start butchering full capacity because I'm gonna need 30 pork meat per saturn, which is a lot. Um, just do a quick god check, so I'm gonna need to really do something for Paul because he's gonna just smack me. Okay, he's fine. Okay, all gods are fine again. Huh, god. You can't please them, you can't squeeze them. Alright, um... Let's see... I think we're good on this level. How's my wheat doing? It is going down. But I don't want to do this. I want to make another fishing hut because I want to start exporting that more. Which you won't... Can we build here? No. Well, how much room do I have? Oh, I have this whole area. Okay, that's fine. I can make Le Fisher all the way here without problems. There we go. So we're gonna make some more fish and as you can see now, uh, well as soon as I show you, we now produce 250 a day. We consume 10 a day and that consuming is mainly done by this boy. Um, no, just give him three. Three is fine. And we can also correlate that for this and he consumes 50 a day. So you see that 10 fish per day produces 60 fish fillet per day. Uh, well, officially 40, but I just uh, upped one uh, person in here and they consume and that goes back to the patricians 50 fish a day. So I'm going to need three first fillet and I'm going to need 15 raw fish going to the fishmonger. So I'm going to need one more guy who then produces 25 extra, which make may enable oh, is a calculator which may enable me to actually s export the full amount 250 a day and then have 25 left to well eat myself i don't know why they need so much fish but i guess they have a lot of patricians then for the armor you can't really see how much you use because i'm producing 32 per day i don't need 32 per day i think I'm going to export 22 of them, even though I have zero. So I'm going to need take need to take care of these enemy armies soon. Oh. Not gonna lie. I'm not happy about this. All I need to do is fight. How are my explorers doing? Guards, you need to be here. Guard. City is being attacked actively, which is sad. Because we're with great sadness, but my guards will be fine. Guards, shouldn't you be going there? So I did place the guard post perfectly, like one discovering this area, this discovering this area. They're just taking care of them. Like I, I'm not even losing guards. Like it's that simple. Guards are really powerful. They're like the centurions themselves. Really proud of them. I really need to do this. I am sad I'm 
again, this guys, this this fire control is a bit um, weak. I am, I don't see any collapses, but I do see a lot of shit, stuff happening. So I'm gonna place a few more. I don't have much money, so I have to be careful. I can't make money that much. Um, I don't know why actually. Like, is this market not doing stuff? It's just one has one guy. Oh, that's my fault. That's my fault. I swear, that's my fault. This one doesn't have enough desirability. What? What's with all the parks, man? I gave you everything you need. So now you have these buildings, which are insane. They're relatively cheap, but they are gonna boost the crap out of your area. So you wanna place them that I at least hit four. And... Uh, you, you guys don't need it yet. Don't overdo it. Like, you can get these guys to 100, no problem. No. Oh, did I place them too far away? Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, I'm out of money. I am out of money. Oh. Mars, come down here. How much bag do you want? Like... Oh, Bluetooth places on. But I only care about my friend Mars. I need my horses like that. They do not have housing. I need to uh, attribute more people. Cow, chicken, fishing. How much markets did I have? I want to fill up the markets. I want to build a second, a third market. I'm sorry. I'm also going to max out these. I'm going to tax you harder. something you deserve. No, just kidding. I'm thinking about building a second market, but I don't think it's necessary as long as the bread, like for example the bread, was really bad. It'll get there. It just needs to max it out for once. Oh, they needed a doctor. That's my fault. I forgot about the doctor. I don't have money. Next day I'll get some money. Um, guys, I'm done with this. So... We're going to the region map. It's time. Deploy. Legion. 40. 50. I'm exaggerating in one century. Rough. They have a lot of archers. Which means we have now the combat menu. Which you're going to love. Um, I don't like this at all. Because I really hoped the archers would be more separated. But um, we'll see. I'm gonna put all my archers here. Well, as long. And I'm going to crush these guys. And let's see. That should be fine. So, what I'm basically gonna do, I have my Centurion here. I'm gonna start right here. And I'm gonna walk the Centurion to this area. And I'm gonna walk yes. the. So, you can actively control them. So now these guys need to be on their assistance. very well. And they start havoc oh. on these archers. Like yeah. cavalry against archers. That's ridiculous. We're on it. And then I'll send them actually to this area. Where they will just completely like, out the rest of the archers. This is not the best example, but I've had battles where I am. Um, I'm gonna show you another trick soon. Just the next battle. For now. Well, to, we took this area, we made it a little bit more secure. We can recall the army for now. You can start exploring this area because I think there's a city there. It's, it's like you almost put this little corner thing on there on purpose. Like there's supposed to be a connection happening. I see you. I see you. And let's put him there. Where's my other explorer? Did I lose it? No. Let's also call Pluto. He's gonna make sure that everything is delivered perfectly and that we have some less problems in town. <coughs> so that was basically uh, infantry strong against cavalry, which is weird, and archers as well. They just hold their line fine. No, that's maybe not exactly true, but um, they just even out, but but cavalry is insanely powerful against archers. They just wreck them right away. So you don't want to have the cavalry just flanking and go in. 
And the, the infantry is the one that actually starts dying, but I'll show you a trick to not have your infantry die later. I'll just, I was just too busy getting these archers dead this time. Um, is there any god? Cyrus has no temple, that's ridiculous. I never built a road. I never built a road, that's ridiculous. But I gave you a festival, so what's happening? Oh, I did build a road. Um, the thing I did was I built the pig farm on her road. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Okay, she's happy again. Happy, 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 happy. Well, neutral is happy in my book. Okay, we start having some unemployment again. So we're growing. We're growing rapidly. Uh, 55, 55. You don't have 55, you get 55, 55. I'm sounding like an auctioneer. Okay. Easy. Just a little fountain. Next up is, is 55, so we're going for the 55. There you go. Why are you doing this to me? There's your 55. They all have 55. Do they miss anything? I think we have everything. No, we were working on the doctor's office and then we got distracted. Doctor's office will need medicinal herbs. So let's build those right away. We'll build them a little bit here. I, I don't care. Like herb farm. There we go. We'll fill them up. The reason I'm filling them up, almost filling them up, is because I have unemployment I don't like that doctor 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 can i place him here please tell me yes okay that problem probably covers everything perfect done we need uh, three doctors what was that no housing don't care people bored whatever then we have entertainment i forgot about this no i didn't forget about it i just didn't have time entertainment is mainly used for these but these guys want events as well so First, we need an actor school. We can build that anywhere we want because it doesn't do anything. Um, it just trains actors. And you need to accommodate actors, which just cost flat money and then need training, which is completely hateful because it costs money and I don't like money. And then we need a theater and you see it has a massive coverage. coverage so that's perfect. There's the theater. We'll just build it in the middle. It just covers everything. Love it. And I'm uh, sending some infantry, by the way. The reason is I lost a lot of infantry. Probably gonna ask oh. Mars to give me some. <laughs> Mars, I kind of need you. He's like, really? Again? Lord, it's that's just, do so much for me. So even if you don't have any archers in training, he will still put archers in there. So you don't worry about that. I, if you have a training queue, it's just a training queue of to quit. And now it just creates a training queue and then we it right away. And I would just want to... Oh yeah, I was going to show you how, how about the detail. It's insane. Like the archers you see them training here, it's glorious. You see the swordman training here. The shield wall thing, look at this. this is... And you see the archer training, if I had archer training. Like, the building detail in this game is insane. You're gonna love it. Well, I love it. You love it? I love it. How is my legion? I have a decent army. Would I or would I not? Oh, look at it. Before we do anything... They want flux. I don't have that. They sell cabbage. I don't need that. That's ridiculous. Nobody needs that shit. But we have another city. I don't have silk or ivory. It was weird. <clears throat> okay, it's kind of weird that I get all these resources that I don't have. It almost makes me sad. This game is pretty detailed. I love it. I just released a few days ago. I was going to make a video earlier, but I made some recordings. And I, I wasn't going to do the first levels because I was like, most people that make covers of this game will probably do one of the first levels because they don't want to play it. And I'm like, I really want to understand the game before I play it. Which is maybe making sense, maybe not. Shall we do the the battle? I think we should do the battle. We still have one centurion. I thought I trained three, so sad. We have a lot of archers. That's good. You, my friend. Oh, they have a lot of archers too. Love it. Let's let's go. So, I want to do something. I want I want to show you a little trick I did, but. Oh, 
So moving. Without question, yes. By your command, understood. Yes, without hesitation. Very honest. Yeah, there we go. Moving. Without So this yes. army, they they By made a massive command. mistake when understood. they built this game. Look at my Citurion. This whole army is chasing my yes. march Without hesitation. They gonna ignore the and everything. By your command. Yes. But this is not right. This way I can do it. I only the guys that get to watch. two horses two horses i lost on archers and the rest didn't even flinch so i blow the whole front line away by just kiting them that is a weakness in game design i'm not gonna lie that's that's pretty bad game design uh, but i don't mind you know it, it cost me nothing and um yeah I, I what can i say i that's that's called a cheese that's that's literally called a cheese so my main problem is i need to make a lot of denarii they need to be to Rome. Yeah, uh, go to Rome, whatever. Now, of course, I need to tax people to get a lot of denarii. And I'm gonna max you out. And it also means I'm going to start making much more patricians. Because I have no choice. I need patricians. I need money. I'm, I can do it with trading, but I already saw. Hello, this game said, like, um, I'm not gonna give you any chances. I have no money. Do I not? Shit, so I can't make the road. Are you mad? I can't even make a road. How do I get quick money? I know how to get quick money. There's only one way to get quick money. Demolish things. But I don't want to demolish anything. I love everything I have. <gasps> Guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're gonna need to make the medicine uh, i have no money full speed i'm gonna play the game full speed why will you play the game full speed well because a simple reason i want the money i need the money i can't do anything without the money day 11 will give me 2800 money That's the same amount oh i'm actually prestige level up i can make more things now at this point it doesn't really matter anymore um pretty much won the game uh, oh, forgot to wait for the day. Three hours later. How are my explorers doing? Um, the other thing in this game, what is a bit of a weakness, is once I'm done exploring and I destroy all the enemies, the game is pretty much over. You know, nothing can go wrong anymore. I want to assign more people to things because... I have way too much people. The bad thing about this is that I'm actually starting to um, overproduce, which causes my warehouse to fall, which causes me to make have to make more warehouses, which is well, it all sucks. Oh come on, how, how, how is my city under? Whoa, 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 wait. Okay, we found another thing. And I'm gonna call Mars. I don't know if he does that, but I was wondering, maybe he could help me. Yeah, those guards didn't make it. Um, so I have this massive legion. Where is it? Oh, that's another flaw of the game. Um, Massive Legion doesn't help me save the city. I didn't expect another attack here. Why? There's no enemy armies. Oh, there. Shit. Can I somehow... No. 
So I have a massive army and I can't send them to the city, which is pretty weak. But okay. I don't know who did that. I probably should have just killed these guys. Uh, they have a few archers. I'm just gonna kite and then be fine. I didn't expect to to defend myself. Can I train more guards? So I'm gonna keep some guards in reserve for when uh, shit goes wrong, you know? I think I mainly have jobs because I lost in the building. So yeah, I lost um, warehouse, that's not good. I was so busy I forgot to talk. Okay, that will keep my people busy at least for a while. Um, yes, I was building this and then I got distracted. And now it's broken, which is costing me a lot of money and I don't like it. So I'm also going to build an extra engineer's office here. Maybe here. And the other one I actually built on the other side. I don't really need this one. I just don't want things to blow up. I just want to make a lot of money to finish the quest. Huh? I have no stone. Oh. Didn't expect that part of the world. There we go. And then we have another patrician building. I have no stone. Uh, guys, I don't like not having stone, so give me stone. How do I put people out of there? I don't know. So this is the biggest one. Uh, I see a first 100% now. takes too long they'll get people but it takes a while oh come on this is something that pissed me off less to the granary like when you don't have enough people and you just try to get people in something and you have to start moving everything frantically that's really annoying to do like, come on okay. Ma make this fix now you, you cover this house, great. Then cover this house. That's actually really well done. Like when you see the tax office, you see in which house he can go with little arrows. Okay. 
Then we'll focus on decoration. I actually built these guys on the uh, on the the road, which is not a problem, but we're just gonna need to build a second road below there. There we go. And then we're also going to give you some beautiful fountain. How about a gladiator statue? <laughs> yet no why are you so hard in getting 100 percent okay 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 i'm just spending all my money trying to get the one one of them 100 percent You don't have water there? How do I not have water? Why don't you have a well there? Okay. Is it everything 100%? 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Of course, there's always one that needs to be. 100. Okay, it cost me a lot of money, but these patrician boys are 100%. Do you need anything? You have, oh, they need raw grapes now. That's interesting. They don't have access to the doctor already. The doctor already doesn't have access to herbs. I've got, I've got herbs. I've got herbs. I've got herbs. I've got herbs. Why? So the best thing is recall and just um, send them right away. If you want to move them quickly to another area, deploy a legion. And let's deploy my legion. Let's cheese the crap out of this game again. A lot of archers, that's stupid. I may not even cheese it, just, just charge it. Oh my god, I hate this. I'm gonna cheese it. Okay, the main army goes this way. And I'm just gonna kite the rest to, to the other area. It's gonna be easy. Um, to talk that's how oh 13 horses oh my lord i'm so sorry i didn't want to i didn't want to lose you um where are my scouts did i lose all my scouts did i lose all my scouts yeah they want some entertainment i know i've been working on that i need more scouts first things first more scouts oh come on i didn't click. oh come on i can't click it Give me four, I don't care. Entertainment. So basically we have two actors ready. You can then celebrate the event. And you probably want to just train all the four actors you need. Where the hell did I put that? In? And also you can now make gladiators, which is absolutely fine. Those can train, for example, wherever. It doesn't matter again. And it's all about this arena, which needs stone blocks, which I don't have, which should be built here which only have two people now they have four okay so there we go so let's check the guards real fast what i kind of want to do is i want to do a festival to minerva but i don't have the resources she needs helps so i'm gonna do a festival for sarah 
give me the herbs. Oh yeah, uh, I don't have people for this. Oh. Again, this people thing. So now I have to start disabling people again, just to get that stupid Minerva for things. Um. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a, an obnoxious system. I'm not gonna lie. I need the stone. How's my wheat? Fine, fine, fine. How's my logging? Fine. Okay, let's go, boys. Sarah's. Oh, I have to call her. We'll just, of course, give you a lot of herbs. She's like, you know what I need? I need this. Yes, thank you. Ooh, 76 herbs right away. Nice. So that's nice. That that works really well. Then we also need to still uncover two more relics. And we also need 1500, which is not really hard because money is coming in. Mainly from the patricians. Why is this a thing, guys? What What is does he need? He needs eggs. What's wrong with my eggs? Don't we have eggs? We do not have eggs. Why don't we have eggs? It doesn't make sense to me. What have I ever done to not get eggs? Milk and eggs. It's it's not it's not rocket science, guys. Do they have the entertainment? And they just don't have mi milk and eggs. That's just not enough. What the hell? Shall we just make more then? Another cow farm. Another chicken farm. Is that what you want? You want more of this? Okay, that's done. I have five jobs offered. And um, these guys need clothing. I don't know why I paused. So I can now make flax fields before I forget. And the flax fields will of course give me uh, clothing. You guys. I'm gonna place it here because I have the room. There we go. Put two people in flax. They got put in there instantly. Interesting. Do I have my explorers yet, boys? I have three. Hello? Oh, in training. You guys have to stop dying. I'm serious. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, can I make some more horses? As well. How's my armor doing? 48. Interesting, interesting. Did I find another city, by the way? You can also click on your own city, by the way. To see everything. Um, I do have planks, do I not? How's my plank production? I could move it a bit higher. I, I make about 120 a day. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, that also means whoever is making planks have a little friend. Because you're now an export for it. Okay, okay, okay. Very nice. Now the armor we already did. Uh, the flex I'm gonna use myself for now. I guess. They cost four. I think unit costs six for an armor in comparison to a plank. It's just ridiculously uh, unbalanced, but... For example, silk is 14. An armor is 6. What? What are you doing to me? That doesn't make sense. You need to make sense. The world needs to make sense. New prestige level. So we have the Cirx Maximus. We have the Chariot, chariot which is very cool. And um, other things. Well, I, for this mission, I don't think we need better military. We're pretty strong in military. And we mainly just need the freaking scouts. And we need to get the relics. And then we need to get the money. And then we're good. We got one explorer. We got another explorer. Oh, wrong button. Wrong building. We got a third explorer. And then when you go here, and you go here. Try not to die this time, boys. I'm not. I'm, I'm just gonna make some more explorers. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm, 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 I'm literally not going to wait for them to die and then left, not have explorers again and not have the relics. And they are going really fast if you have full speed. 
Um, before we go full speed, of course, I want, of course, the arena. The arena is mainly meant for uh, the, the, the rich guys, but... You know, oh, I can build here. Um, but of course, you're going to need gladiators just as actors. It's really simple. We'll just buy all gladiators and we'll just make a play later. And also, we'll do this. And a festival. Who wants a festival? I think uh, Jupiter will be a good uh, turn now. Jupiter. Jupiter. Why do I keep looking for Jupiter? It's gonna be a small one, but I'm gonna call him right away so he can make sure everyone is completely happy. Because I like happy people. Um, unemployed citizens, 12. What the hell? When, where the hell did you come from? Randomly. I didn't expect to have more unemployed citizens. Um, let's focus on these, maxing these out, because we were lacking these. Am I doing Max Bakery? Yes. Pigs are always welcome. Um, I want to max out the grape orchard because I, I noticed they need grapes. Um, I'm going to max out the warehouse. And lastly, I want to max out the granary, which is about this. And that will give me enough people. Yeah, I misclicked that five times. I'm sorry. Okay, explorers. Keep, keep going, boys. Keep going. Oh, we have another army. We have another army. I can't click it. I tried everything. Deploy Legion. Everyone. Today. Yeah. I wonder if I deploy my Legion in my own city. In my own area. That they can't attack me. But I don't know. I don't know. I haven't tested yet. yet. If someone knows, just let me know in the comments. The commands. So they have some archers which I want to flank. Um, but I think flanking with two groups will work better in this way. And we'll do the um, one vision um, kite tactic. So we start. You will on it. Moving. here. You will Without question. Yes. You will go straight. By your command. Understood. Yes. Ready to march. Without hesitation. Very well. We're on it. Moving. I have to Without question. By your command. Trickle my horsemen here. Yes. They horsemen definitely die fast if you do that. Your yes. Oh my god, I have so much trouble clicking my guys. Ready to Without watch. hesitation. Very well. We're on it. Uh, we lost some guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, we lost some guys. It was a big fight. But it was a big farm. I lost a lot of guys, 17 horses, 17 of my brave and very runny cavalry. I need more horses. Oh, we still train horses. Well, we keep training horses. I wish there was a quick, oh, this holding shift is 10. I said it and then I was already fixed. Um, I could lower the taxes, wouldn't I? I could hire the wages, but no, I need the money. I'm sorry, I need the freaking money. Uh, not enough housing, don't care. So, yeah, I don't care about the housing. Why are you not having enough people delivering? What is the problem? This house does not have enough food. Looks to me, you're full on food. So I don't know what you're saying, but you better stop saying it. Oh, hello. Okay, we have our third relic. I'm not going to need Mars this time, so I'm going to... Go to Pluto. And the reason I'm going to Pluto is because I want to. And then long, next I will do Apollo. And that also means my explorer is done. Good, 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 good. I'm missing an explorer. I am missing an explorer, but it didn't say killed. I don't see any armies either. Am I blind? Is this what happened to me? Me being blind?
Okay. I have four explorers ready and waiting. Like some care. You think you can you think I care? No, I don't. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I was having a coughing attack, and I was like, "Let's let's let's mute that mic, because uh, people will uh, get crazy in their head when they hear it." Okay, um, I think I can then deploy another explorer. Can I not? Yes. Let's just explore the entire region and be done with it. I think that's a good plan. There we go. Everything looks good except some somehow. I have the people for it. If you have so much problems, you'll just get another market. I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, you just have to s tell me that you need more markets. You know, and then I drop another market here. And then it looks really weird because... You know? I don't know why you're saying this to me and it's weird to me, but, you know... You complain, I deliver. You know, that's always been the rule. Now, from this one, I can't make anything else. We already built that. Of course, we could make a wall. It's, it's, it's really basic. Like, uh, you first make a gate. I don't want to spend much money because... Well, actually, I don't care. I'll have it next time anyway. And then you do a little tower, of course. With the road part inwards. And then you do a little wall. You know? People will feel safer because wall. And then I don't have enough resources. Because wall expensive. Okay, and then we do a little um, road, of course. And that road goes, of course, to the town. There we go. And then we'll realize we probably don't have any construction. So we're going to need more engineers. We need a fire station. Hey! Ah, not enough stone because wall. Well, that's how it works. And then the guards you have, they go on here, of course. And uh, you can put more, more, but you can only do two max. But I have them anyway, so it's fine. And they'll guard that area. And then you probably can make an extra guard post just to be sure. And I can't find it. It's right here. So you know, and I'm just going to put one in there because I had one extra spare guard. And then you know, whenever somebody's coming here, we'll have a guard and we have stuff, you know? Easy. Okay, um, out of why do I pause the game? That's annoying. Okay, yeah, you can also make like a cross section, which is, you know, aqueduct plus wall, and that's pretty much we built pretty much everything. Of course, we can make more, more, more better uh, decorations. <gasps> we found another one. I'm gonna give it to Pluto. Pluto again. Sorry. I don't know what you're doing in the city, but I love it. Okay, I do see some alertness. That means there's going to be an enemy armor. It's pretty much when this becomes red, you pretty much know there's an enemy army in the thing somewhere. So let's deploy our Legion. Guys, how about a quick deploy button? You know, I want to send everything. Just let me send everything. Not going to lie. Uh, no archers, so it's gonna be full kite fest. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it a bit different. I'm not gonna send them uh, in front of the box. I'm just gonna put them here and I'm gonna put one of the tongs in the front and I'm gonna send them straight to the Everybody will go march without so this is the easiest fight to we're on it. Moving without question by your command. Yes. yes. Now he will kite on it. Yes. By your command. Yes. yes. Without hesitation. We're on it. Without and everything by your command. Yes. Yes. Zero march without That's hesitation. We're on it. Without question. Yes. By your command. Yes. Yes. I select to march without hesitation. Very well. We're on it. Okay. This is the most annoying thing ever. Like, give me the. Uh, this is just, you know, pretty bad. It's just kiting. Oh, I lost two soldiers. No, he did not. 
Okay, we have a new one who also buys armor. Okay, weird. That's weird. That's really weird. Uh, we just have to send the denarii and then we done the mission. Pretty well done, easy. Oh, we have another one. Jup. We did Pluto twice. We can't keep doing Pluto. It's ridiculous. The other gods will get jelly. You know they will. We have another city. He buys herbs. Well, I ain't selling herbs. How about that? I'm selling a little bit of herbs. Hey, why we've got this one? Give me an explorer right away. <clears throat> okay. Um, explorer is exploring. Makes sense. Super happy. He's the big boy. Are we still having this? I think it's the fish fillet. We don't make enough fish fillet. That's ridiculous. Can we um, put another fish fillet in here? No, I was off the road. I should not know. Um, okay, we built the flax farm, so of course we have to do the tailoring. Don't forget that. That's the last building in this category. And we'll max that out right away. There we go. Shall we do two? Just get crazy, make two. Maybe sell it. Yeah, big boy Jupiter just flexing all the time. Okay. Very well. Full speed ahead, guys. We're done. We built everything. Our city is thriving. We literally have no... Apollo. Go, Apollo. Go. Go down, sir. Um, I kind of want to build... Minerva. Go, Minerva. Go. Very well. Um, of course, we can still build the Circus Maximus, but oh, let's do a play. Prestige level eight. Oh, they're still training. So we can do that. Um, Circus Maximus. Ooh, well, if something fits, you put it down. I should have done that. I need the money, maybe. And then you do the, the really pretty roads, and then I'm starting to burn money, which I don't need. Okay, so guys, we're pretty much done here. <coughs> Basically, you train racers for this one, of course, so you have to make a racing track. There we go. And that's all the building. So I hope I showcased everything you want to see in this game, and that you've seen everything. It's, it's a very fun game, it's highly detailed. Like, everything... There's so much happening, you know? Everything is... Every building has so much detail and it brings you back to the, to the old city of Rome where people bathe and... You know, it's impressive. Impressive. If you, lo if you look into the buildings, there's so much detail. I love it. I think the game is incredibly good. Uh, combat needs to be refined severely because um, I can cheese it. And if I can cheese it, it's not good. Literally. But overall... This game, you should buy it. If you loved Caesar in the past, and your older game or whatever, I think they will continue to improve the game. And this game is already a completely polished and perfect product on its own. So, I'll definitely say, let's finish this mission. And hope to see you in another video. And I hope you enjoyed this let's play. Thank you so much.